Hi and welcome to this new episode. Today we're going to be talking about singing on pitch and you're getting one exercise that will really make the difference within your singing practice. Let's dive into it. Hello and welcome. This episode will show you the greatest exercise to be able to sing on pitch. Little warning, it might be a little bit boring, but it's really going to make the biggest difference. Now, what many beginner singers make when they're learning to sing or when they're trying to sing on pitch is pushing their voice whenever they feel like a tone or a note is getting shaky. So I'm sure you've, we've all experienced this, is whenever you're singing a song, and there's a long note in there and it's starting to get shaky. What we tend to do as our natural instinct is pushing the voice even more to even out that shake and make it more stable. That's not the best way to go about it. Now we're going to be talking about what is the best way, but another mistake that many beginner singers make is whenever they feel that shakiness, they're pushing the voice and they're activating all of the muscles around the larynx to keep that note stable, again, which causes straining. Also, the beginner singer doesn't oftentimes hear whether they're singing on pitch or not. So they're not developing that inner hearing. And that's definitely something that we need to work on because if we do that, we're slowly transitioning to the world of the trained singer. That's where we're all aiming to be. The trained singer, they know when they're not singing on pitch. They can actually hear that because they have trained their inner hearing. Also, they use the power of their diaphragmatic breathing to keep a note stable instead of pushing and straining the voice and activating all the muscles around the larynx. Also, the trained singer, they have a consistent practice. So even though these kinds of exercises that we're going to be going through today might not be the most fun and energetic exercises ever, the trained singer knows that this is the work that needs to be done in order to perfect their singing. So I hope you're ready because today we're working from the Sing Yourself to Freedom formula. As always, we have four main pillars and today we're going into and dive deeper into the vocal technique pillar. Vocal technique, that means that we're building those techniques and tools to have you experience vocal freedom. What is vocal freedom? Singing high notes, singing low notes, singing all the notes in between with ease, without any effort. That is what vocal freedom is. Being able to sing what you want to sing, being able to make your voice sound however you want it to sound. So let's dive into it. So the first thing that we need to do to sing on pitch is hear where the music is going. That's number one. So we have two phases when we're singing. The first phase is our internal hearing, hearing where the music should be going. And then the second phase is actually making those vocal cords vibrate. So today we're going to take those two phases and put that into one exercise, which is really exciting. So the exercise that we're going to be doing Again, might be a little bit boring for some and it might seem really simple, but simple doesn't mean easy. That's what my coach always says. <laughs> so please don't disregard this exercise because it might seem very simple. There's many things to discover here. So when we're singing, singing consists out of two phases. Phase one is hearing where the music is going, what pitches need to be sung. That's your internal hearing. Phase two is actually making those vocal cords vibrate and producing sound. Many singers or many vocal teachers, they only focus on that second phase, activating the vocal cords and producing sound, which is great because you need that. But if you don't know where the music is going, if you don't know what pitch should be sung, then how can you expect to be able to activate the vocal cords and be on that pitch? So today we're bringing those two pieces together. So here's the exercise. I'm going to be uh, playing a note, for example, this one, and you're going to be singing this first in your head. You're going to hear the pitch in your head. Then you're going to sing it out loud on a brr or a v or a z sound. These sounds are what called SOVT sounds. Now we don't have time to go into the whole SOVT world. We can do that another time. But choose a brr, a literal, a v, or a zh. 
and sing that note on that sound. And then we're going to open it up on an ah. So what we're doing here is first of all, singing the pitch, which is that internal hearing. Then by using an SOVT sound, a or v, that will make sure that we're making the pitch stable without activating the muscles around the larynx. We are making it stable by activating our diaphragmatic breathing, which is the key here. We don't want to be pushing. We want to activate it from down here, from our abdominal muscles. Then we're opening it on an ah, which makes sure that we're taking off the training wheels, which was the SOVT sound, and we're actually ha having a sound that sounds great, right? So the SOVT sounds, the or v, helps to kind of support you into finding that right place of singing that note. And then when we're taking away the training wheels or when we're taking away the SOVT sounds, that's where our full voice is sounding. Does that make sense? So let's try and do that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play a tone, a note. Hear that in your head. Then we're doing that on an SOVT sound. And then we're going on an ah. And your challenge is to keep that ah as stable as you can. So don't make it go higher or lower. Try and make it as, as clean as you can, that sound. And that's where it gets difficult because you're going to notice that that note might start shaking. So what you need to do when you do hear that, you need to activate your breath support. You might hear that the note starts to go up a little bit. Ah. What do we need to do? We need to open up, release the tension here and activate breath support. It's all about breath support in this exercise. Okay, let's try that. Let's go for the, this one. Hear this note in your head first. Give it on a lip trill. V or zh. Brrr, transition to the ah. Brrr, ah. And keep it stable. Beautiful. Now, the next exercise is going to be you by yourself. I'm not going to be singing along. Here we go. This one. Hear it in your head first. On a brrr, v. Transition to the ah. Keep it steady. Beautiful. So here we're, we're trying to find like, first, were you on the pitch? Were you on the right pitch? Second, can you keep that stable? Can you keep that diaphragmatic breathing? Can you keep those, those abdominal muscles activated? Okay, next one. Let's go a little bit, a little bit harder. <laughs> Hear the one in your head first. Hear it in your head. On an SOVT sound. Open up to an A. Ah. Keep it steady. Keep it steady. Beautiful. Let's go to this one. Hear the pitch in your head. Sing it out loud on an SOVT sound. Open up to an A. Ah. Keep it steady. Yes. Beautiful. Last one. Let's go for this one. Hear it in your head. Singing on an SOVT sound. Open up to an A. Ah. Keep it steady, steady, steady. Beautiful. Now let's put that into practice with the song. We're going to be working with one sentence from Blinding Lights by The Weeknd, uh, the sentence from the chorus. It goes like this. I said, ooh, ooh, I'm blinded by the lights. That's the only sentence we're going to work with. And the idea is that we're doing the same thing as we did before. So first we're going to be singing it in our head. Then we're going to be doing it on an SOVT sound to make it stable. And then we're opening it up on our actual words. So first, let's do it in our head. Here we go. And hear it in your head. Beautiful. Now let's do it on a brr, on a z or on a v together. Here we go. Same thing, first we're going to be listening to where the music is going. Here we go. And yeah, did you hear the melody in your head? 
Let's do it on a Here we go. So this, these steps that we have just gone through together, this is something that you can use when singing your own repertoire. If there is a place in a song that you don't feel comfortable with, that feels a little bit off or pitchy, first, slow it down. Hear it in your head. Then do it on an SOVT sound and make that sound stable. And then we can put the words in and, and actually sing it. Take away the training wheels. Does that make sense? So this framework, this process is something that you can do whenever you're putting this into practice in your own repertoire. So your homework for today is to take a song and do that. You don't have to do the whole song, like the, all the verses and all the choruses. I would take one part of a song, for example, just the first line of the chorus or just the last line of the verse. Whatever part of the song is most difficult for you, and apply this technique. Apply the thing of, okay, I'm hearing what it is supposed to sound like, then I'm doing it on an SOVT sound, and then I'm adding the words in. And I would love to hear your feedback on how this is going for you. Let me know in the comments down below. Now, last thing before I leave you, this is just the beginning of vocal technique. As I told you, vocal freedom is something that we built by having this little backpack with techniques and tools that we're starting to accumulate. Coming up, I have a free training that is called Discover the Most Powerful Vocal Technique. In other words, we're starting to fill up this backpack in this upcoming training. It's totally free. You can join for free. Click the link below. I'm going to link to it in the description here below so that you can attend that training. And this is going to be a beautiful add-on after this video that and this technique that we've watched and that we've gone through today. So I'm looking forward to see you on the training and um, yeah, see you here again very soon. Bye.